Uh, hello students uh, it's a proud feeling for me as a teacher as a guide uh, that uh, our student dr mukil venthan has cleared his dnb practical examinations and today he is a qualified orthopedic surgeon so the biggest uh, moment a proud moment for a teacher is when his student does well and gets laurels achieves laurels Uh, so i feel very proud and i congratulate mukil dr mukil venthan for this uh, achievement and for bringing honor to himself to his family to his parents so his parents his family would be very proud of him today mukil uh, congratulations once again thank you sir thank you sir thanks a lot so mukil uh, we want to know about your journey as a doctor so how did you uh, decide to become a doctor and later on uh, a orthopedic surgeon uh, can you tell me something is was it by yes, chance sir. Uh, yes sir i uh, i will tell uh, uh, sir uh, after my neat preparation for the uh, pg entrance examination i got only dnb orthopedic sir but i want to take uh, uh, some ms or ms orthopedic or mb general medicine i want to do initially sir but uh, what happened both the seats i didn't get big since my rank was not sufficient then uh, i was tired i was not able to prepare after that so i lost the confidence and i joined dmg orthopedics in a corporate hospital sir after that uh, i after i came to my hospital i was really depressed like anything sir i don't want, i i realized that i made a wrong decision i would have prepared for one more year and tried for some government medical college then uh, dr abbas ali is an another orthopedic surgeon he is a coaching class uh, person so you should take coaching classes he used to be told you just to read orthopedics and see and uh, if you like orthopedics you can continue this day after you finish also you can learn your skills knowledge everything if you don't are uh, interested in the subject only you can leave that course and come after that i was in a dilemma that whether i should continue the course or not in that dilemma uh, after a period of time this app app was launched initially i thought uh, uh, the cost will be too much why i should uh, this much you should pay like that i was thought at that time sir then slowly i saw that advert that uh, sample videos i used to saw once i saw that videos i thought so they used to take classes uh, it same like reading like that first initially i thought then one i uh, one video i saw upper mera sir demonstrating how to wear a glove so that video made me to buy this app because i want to learn everything from the from a, a b c d i want to learn because i don't know anything so i want so i decided so they are teaching us uh, from how to wear a glove so that that will be better for us definitely we can learn each and everything in a proper way like that i thought and i bought that app uh, and i started watching the videos uh, in my institute hardly per month we used to do only 12 cases sir 10 to 12 cases sir only arthroscopy and the joint replacement the basic pg what he should know that also i was not exposed so whether to continue or leave that dilemma was there then what i used to do this whole three years of pg life what i did is uh, in 2 o'clock only almost all the work will be over in our institute sir. so what i do i have set of uh, 20 25 notebooks were there and i will take i will uh, switch on take one video from conceptual i used to watch that video and i will make nice notes what i did in uh, neat preparation entrance examination and after finishing that video and after making that complete notes i used to revise that notes and at 8 o'clock one more interactive session will be there and uh, all the teachers uh, will be knowing me because 70% of all the interactive sessions i used to attend all the classes and i used to attend that interactive session and i used to make a small hint of that the class and i will just revise what they today taught in the class and i will satisfy myself that my pg life is not wasted today i learned something like that because hospital is like duty and a salary that's all i never cannot learn anything then what i did slowly practical videos i used to see and i used to go to nearby government medical colleges and i used to go and see what cases are there and once i found their cases in that college canteen only used to sit and i watched their practical examination what were videos demonstrated and what they did i used to go and mark and i used to inspection palpation whatever i did i used to do and i come home and i present in front of mirror only 
and just this this is what happened for whole three years i practiced to myself like because dnv is very difficult to pass and uh, after three years without knowing anything and slowly one important thing i want to talk uh, conceptually i i fall in love in orthopedics very deeply after subscribing to it because uh, abbas ali sir told uh, love with the subject is more important if you have that love any time you can learn it and once i started gaining the knowledge and i gained lot of uh, interest on that and uh, uh, whatever i read whatever i see whatever i use i used to apply for the patients also and uh, one or whenever i reduce that simple shoulder dislocations uh, i used to feel like uh, i have done some immediately patient will get results then i realized the taste of orthopedics immediate results we can get we can give back the limb without any scar we can heal those, those things are really attracted me when i started watching more videos i started gaining more knowledge and started uh, examining cases and in external postings uh, uh, three months that is where i exposed to some to some trauma some orthopedic cold cases that i utilized lately whole three years i attended all the interactive sessions oski sessions and i didn't buy any books from 1 2 3 to a b c d whatever i know in orthopedics is from conceptual only and finally finally this journey was finished now and i somehow i passed and came out with and after joining the this and many negative thoughts many inferiority complex outside if i go what they will tell oh you are uh, you did dnb from a corporate hospital definitely you didn't have any hands on definitely these people they don't know anything this kind of thought will be there how they will treat me if i join in a medical college how many there i will be sr for 3 4 years this kind of thoughts are killing me like anything because all the thoughts all the negative things really i was in depression sir. all the things uh, for others it was just a tool for me it is the only material <laughs> to learn so somehow i used it uh, how much ever i can use it i used it and with this i cleared the theory and in between i got interest in hand surgery seeing our plastic surgeon used to do all tendon reconstructions everything i got interest in hand surgery and i requested him just i will come and assist your case sir like that and uh, i decided uh, our uh, super specialty should be in hand surgery so in future i want to do trauma cases sir for trauma cases what basic trauma cases whatever everybody will do that trauma cases i want to do extra i want to do something in hand but to be frank till today i i i will struggle to do a proper tv and healing also but i have a goal that whenever i was hurt whenever i feel that nothing is there i used to remember this one word one or the other day i will do brachial plexus repair like that i used to think it is a very big till today i don't know to do tv and healing also properly but this goal is there sir. but uh, to make the goal to make it strong and uh, the confidence i got is from conceptual that i have to say and uh, my favorite teacher is uh, i want to say it's uh, is, is you and uh, ravinder dimri sir sir because both of your classes i will be i will not have a need out it will be crystal clear it will be very helpful <coughs> both of your especially ravinder dimri sir classes and your classes sir because you never used to you will start from the anatomy and slowly slowly we will make us to understand and you used to teach us that will be very very helpful for us in whatever ascii and whatever shoulder topics came i i did it very nicely sir and uh, the basics in orthopedics is i know in strong concepts i gained from ravinder dimri sir sir ravinder dimri sir phone number i didn't have but i want to really want to thank him sir because his videos are really inspiring and it will be very very it will be it is those videos are very very nice very nice sir. extraordinary videos from the district sir it is sir so this was this are the uh, real true things i want to tell from my heart uh, uh, if the whole conceptual video any videos if anybody watches also they can see my face because you know 70 percentage of the video i, I will be telling <laughs> daily all the classes i used to attend so that is how this journey was sir. so mukil really a really inspiring story uh just shows where there is a will to learn there is a way so you found out a way you said that there wasn't any education at your place yes, but you found out a way to where to practice you went to medical different medical colleges saw patients there yes, uh, really a innovative way standing in front of the mirror and practicing your cases yes, because nobody is there to hear our presentation 
so after this uh, case presentation series came late in our actually if it came early i would have started that also to there but late only tuli sir presentation came in. but if it is there ask me is everything really everything is really helpful but that case presentation that, uh, and the only most important thing is the confidence to speak with the examiner i never struggled in exam because all great examiner all terror examiners i met in our app <laughs> <laughs> I I answered to I I interacted with Sudhir Kumar sir. I interacted with Anil Dal sir. So that fear and all is not there. But without any struggle, without any fear, without any tremor, I spoke in the exam sir. And one one more thing, real thing is two exam cases were there sir. One exam case was hip case with uh, bilateral one uh, unilateral hip with uh, opposite side polio. That case I presented okay okay moderately only sir. But one more osteomyelitis case was there. The examiner told me. Uh, really you presented uh, your confidence level was very good you can go ahead in your life uh, congrats it was that words is i got from conceptual only really to happen sir i am not just uh, telling because 100 times i spoke in the app interacted with the examiner so interacting with the examiner confident uh, confidence came easily for me sir. that is one more thing i told you yes sir great uh, so uh, again uh, you have to dream Uh, only a dreamer can be achiever a dreamer of today is a achiever of tomorrow so you dream that you will become an orthopedic surgeon you work towards it and here today you are an orthopedic surgeon next dream is you want to be a brick hill back surgeon i know i can tell with confidence that yes you will achieve it i have full confidence in you, you thank you uh, making us proud so uh, tell me uh, uh, something uh, that uh, uh how, how do you think uh, what would be your advice for other subscribers of uh, conceptual orthopedics how should they use this app when they should start using it and how to <coughs> from the first year only we have to i started from first year only sir because that is the only material from first year only we have to start using this app sir we can uh, the thing is theory while we are doing the theory we should not uh, watch this uh, this ascii videos practical examination videos we can skip and we can watch all the theory all theory topics are already discussed in the app sir. that app theory videos we have to watch and uh, what i will advise is what i did is i used to make in practice videos only four five videos will be there all the five videos i collaborated and i used to make one notes and like that i used to do certain people what they used to do directly app that notes is given that uh, that notes they will follow that is they can do that is also one more good thing but what i did all the five videos i watched so it will be the clarity of the the clarity will increase on each and every video if you watch again and again all the videos we should watch and we should understand something and we should make a proper notes and that we cannot forget in our life and we, that will help for our exam also that that is the way i used to do sir we have to watch all the videos which is required for the theory and we have to make our proper notes hand written notes we have to make and that routes we have to read again and again so uh, of our practicals what i did is all the ascii videos uh, i i watched all the ascii videos again and again what were points missed that points i note, noted again and and the most important our radiology videos are very very helpful those videos they can watch now if the case presentation is there that we have to present the one the app can be used in a better way that what can say is speaking with an examiner this very very typical at that time they will stop in between again and again from inspection if we talk they will stop and again to start to present it to, that that will not come without practice sir either we should practice directly if our institute is good with case load daily we have to take case and present or else in our app they have to take some case or fake case they have to make and they have to present again and again that is the best way to make use of our app so all the materials are already there more than me how to use the app everybody is already given like spoon period already so that if they follow simply also that is more than enough. i never read campbell i never read any material i don't buy any books also only pdf format i have whatever material is there that material i utilize properly that is more than enough to pass both theory practical in future also especially why why our app the thing is during our practice also the how, how to go step by step manner that clarity will definitely come once we start using our app so that i can realize
that i can relate that is what i my experience that is what i did so that i can share great mukil so great words of advice uh, so just to sum it up there is no shortcut to success uh, there will be times that you will be faced with difficult periods in your life uh, there will be times that uh, negative thoughts will come in your mind and uh, there will be they will have doubts over your decision but stick to your decision follow your gut feeling and work hard and you will find yes, your own way you will create your own path and you will achieve success so yes. really a inspiring story uh, congratulations to you mukil really Thank feel you. proud of you and uh, hope i no, i don't hope i know that you will achieve much bigger successes in your life yes i also Thank want you. to yes sir, one day i want to crack uh, fnb hand surgery or mca hand surgery and uh, put you a message that sir uh, sir i have got this seat sir like i also want to do that once so, i get the i know that and i'll be waiting uh, in my message or my phone waiting for mukil's phone that he'll be calling up and <laughs> calling me up soon with this uh, another uh, achievement in his life so thank you mukil thanking thank you. thanks thank for you, sharing your time with us and congratulations thank you sir thank you sir thank you but mukil i think that will help and uh, i'm really happy and yes sir really uh, great to see you smiling and you one one constant face uh, we used to yes, have sir. in our, all our lectures uh, i used yes, to know sir. if no, nobody will interact at least mukil will interact with us <laughs> and he'll try because and answer for, the questions yes sir because for other it's an, it's a, just an adjuvant or tool for me it is the only only material to learn otherwise nothing i learned actually i did i used one more thing i used i want to tell sir i previously i used to thought that the people who does pg in mansi are are good government medical college they are trained and the big big professors so we we, we are nothing like that inferiority complex used to be there and in between i used to think that even i, I also trained under uh, maulana azhar medical college hod <laughs> like that i used to think and i i satisfied i came out of that depression like that <laughs> I mean, I was trained under Alin Dal sir. I was trained under under Sudhir Kumar sir. I also trained under big big professors only like this. Yeah, so those are really great teachers. I also yes, we also they also taught us. Uh, Doctor Tuli has yes, taught Doctor Dhal and Doctor Sudhir Kumar. So we have teachers of teachers there. We have our teachers. Yes. We are trying to teach the next generation. So yes, you have three four generation of teachers there in our app. Yes, and uh, and it's really uh, it gives you satisfaction that something you are working something you are doing is helping yes, other people yes. so more than anything that is what satisfies uh, yes, at the end of the day thank you mukil thank you for thank saying, you, uh, sparing your time and uh, hope to see you and so you're still subscribing to the app or you are not yes sir another app? another two years i have sir, for our my future preparation center i have now okay, so, here fully i have to work in the hospital sir so i am not able to attend the videos otherwise i was interested really i was interested to attend videos and gain some knowledge now i have to work in the hospital properly then only i will get hands on otherwise they won't be cutting sir definitely so yeah. i am working so, so i am working to learn the surgical skills uh, again there is no hard yes, uh, shortcut to success uh, this is theoretical the surgical skills will come with time but obviously you need to work at it the more yes, you sir. scrub up the more cases you uh, assist in the more cases you do you build up your more confidence and uh, it's great that you also want to work in the field of hand surgery uh, not many surgeons want to do that it's not a very attractive field for a lot of surgeons but great it's very satisfying field yes and you can really do wonders for the patients i've seen uh, patients with tetraplegia who get a small function after uh, their hand surgery but they are so thankful so grateful and you really feel that you have made a difference to their life so yeah it's a wonderful field and uh, i think you will do wonders yes thank, thank you, you thank you thank and you and god bless you